You and LeBron have that exchange. There are people out there that say maybe, maybe you shouldn't do that with one of the better players in the game. Well, I guess what, what were you thinking? I don't care. He's old. I poke bears. Um, I don't respect no one until they come and give me 40. I pride myself on you know, what I do is defense and taking on any challenge that's on the board. <laughs> wow. Okay, Dylan Brooks on, uh, right, talk on LeBron it. James. <clears throat> oh, my, he ain't lying, my man. Oh, 38. That's old. Yep. Yeah, 28. That's up. We still old. Yeah. I don't have no problem with that. I like to eat. I, listen, man. Uh, Memphis made me proud tonight. They they went out there under man. They competed. That's as as a player and a coach. All you can do is ask your players to hey, just compete. Just they, leave it all out there. Yeah, and they did that. And um, uh, I, I was proud of them tonight because we we all we all thought they were gonna lose tonight because we thought the Lakers would be like, hey man, let's don't come back to Memphis, let's don't come back to Memphis, and they came out with no energy, zero energy. Kenny talked about it at halftime. They came out with zero energy. They thought they had the Lakers across the front of their shirts, <clears throat> no Jaw, no Brandon Clark. No, uh, Steve, uh, Big Steve. Steven Adams, yeah. And they, like, they came out there, and Memphis just competed. How about your man, Xavier Tillman, tonight with the 22-13 and 13, uh, playoff career highs in both for X-Men? He had a great game. He, he came in, and he stepped up. Uh, I really haven't watched him play a lot, but he played with great energy.